Hello everybody. In 2023, we will be celebrating and looking back on 40 years of uh, Tyndale Christian School Salisbury East being in existence. And that's going to be a wonderful celebration uh, to consider that four decades has gone past and all that's been accomplished, all that's been achieved, the, the thousands of students that have passed through our gates. And uh, we're looking forward to celebrating that. But part of that celebration has been about recognising people who have contributed an extraordinary amount to this school during that time. And back in the late 2000s, uh, we made a determination to uh, honour uh, the founding principal of our school here, Mr. Roy Magor, and we named the, the major auditorium over in the middle school after him. And that was a wonderful celebration. And we wanted to honour a, a person who helped start this school from the very beginning and grew it to, to be a fantastic school by the time he finished up at the end of 1999. Uh, we also made a decision that we would uh, name the renovated uh, main administration centre uh, over in the senior school after Mr Andrew Davies and we had a celebration with him and his family and friends earlier this year at a grand opening. Uh, Mr Davies was both our business manager and then our director of corporate services over all three schools uh, for over 15 years and his contribution in helping to purchase this university precinct uh, to be able to see the two schools regionally grow, uh, to ensure that Tyndale was in a fantastic financial position. Uh, he did an extraordinary amount of work and uh, we wanted to honour him as well. In that regard, we've made a determination that we're going to be naming a number of other buildings uh, after some of our long-term uh, staff members who have contributed uh, an extraordinary amount to Tyndale Christian School over the years. And it's my delight to be able to announce that we've spoken to these three people and they've graciously agreed to uh, provide their name for the buildings and uh, I wanted to announce that today. The first is, is that uh, uh, over 25 years ago, uh, Mr. Mark Zerner joined us and uh, as part of uh, getting involved with a very small learning support program uh, over in the junior school. And uh, over that time, he grew that to, to the place that it is now, where we are servicing hundreds of kids uh, at our school who uh, may have a learning need or a disability. Uh, the development of our small classes, which is now going to translate into small classes at our other two uh, schools as well. And Mr. Zerner's passion and commitment and dedication uh, to families with kids with disabilities and learning needs has been absolutely outstanding. And uh, Mr. Zerner finished up uh, a couple of years ago and uh, we, we believe that it is right and proper to honour him. He designed the Learning Support uh, Centre. He uh, threw himself into it. Uh, he was involved from the very beginning in the development of that centre and we believe it's, it's absolutely the right thing to do to name it after him. Secondly, uh, we are building a new junior school administration centre and uh, many of you would have seen that being developed over uh, near the London Drive car park and that will be finished hopefully by September, October and we'll be able to have a grand opening there. We've made the determination that we're going to be naming that after Mr Graham Holmes who was uh, a deputy and then the principal of the middle school for many years. Mr Holmes uh, served this school for 30 years and uh, we believe that honouring him by naming the new Junior School Administration Centre um, is a wonderful thing to do and a wonderful way to uh, acknowledge his legacy. And finally, but probably uh, slightly even more special than all of that, is that we have one staff member here who has been here from the very beginning. In fact, this uh, teacher was the first employee to be signed up to start at Tyndale Christian School back in 1983. And her name is Mrs. Catherine Buscombe. And she's still with us. And last year she completed her 38th year here at Tyndale. And that is our remarkable record. And there's no sense that she's slowing down yet. And we have every confidence that she'll be here to not only celebrate the school's 40th year, but to celebrate her own 40 years here with us. And therefore, we've made the determination that once the two new classrooms have been built in the reception year one area, we're going to be naming the entire eight classrooms in the reception year one area. Uh, the, we're going to be calling that Buscombe House. And uh, we believe that is a wonderful way to honour the extraordinary service that this teacher has given to this school over four decades. And so we're very excited about this and I hope that you'll join us in celebrating 
the namings of these buildings when uh, the uh, official openings occur and that uh, the, the Zerner Centre one will be coming uh, sooner than the others because that's obviously already uh, functioning and going uh, but the other two will be later in the year and I'm sure that you will want to pass on your congratulations and best wishes to Mr Zerner, Mr Holmes and Mrs Buscom uh, for this honour. Uh, we think it is a great privilege to be able to do this, uh, to recognise them and I'm sure you'll join with us in celebrating uh, these great events. So thank you for listening and it was my pleasure to be able to share this news with you today. God bless.